Lizard Squad is a notorious hacking group known for their high-profile cyber attacks against various targets, including gaming networks, government websites, and media organizations. The group gained notoriety in 2014 when they launched a series of distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks against gaming networks such as Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, causing widespread disruption to online gaming services. The identity of the members of Lizard Squad is not known for certain, as they have operated under various pseudonyms and aliases. However, some members have been arrested and prosecuted for their involvement in cyber attacks. The group has also claimed responsibility for several other attacks, including taking down the Malaysian Airlines website in 2015. Lizard Squad's activities have raised concerns about the vulnerability of critical online infrastructure and the need for improved cybersecurity measures. Their tactics, which often involve exploiting vulnerabilities in networks and launching DDoS attacks, can cause significant disruption and financial losses for their targets. Lizard Squad is known for using a variety of hacking techniques and methods to carry out their cyber attacks. One of their preferred methods is the use of DDoS attacks, which involves flooding a website or network with traffic to overwhelm its servers to cause it to crash or become inaccessible. To launch DDoS attacks, Lizard Squad had used botnets, which are networks of infected computers that can be controlled remotely to carry out the attack. The group has also used other techniques, such as SQL injection, which involves exploiting vulnerabilities in a website's database to gain access to sensitive information. In addition to these techniques, Lizard Squad has also been known to use social engineering tactics, such as phishing emails or social media scams to gain access to a target's network or still sensitive information. They've also been known to use malware, such as Trojan horses or keyloggers, to gain access to a target's computer or network. Lizard Squad is responsible for several high-profile cyber attacks that have caused significant disruption to their targets. In 2014, the group launched a series of DDoS attacks against gaming networks, causing widespread disruption to online gaming services. This included attacks on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, which left millions of gamers unable to access the services during the busy holiday season. The group has also targeted media organizations, such as the BBC, which they took down with a DDoS attack in 2015. Lizard Squad has also claimed responsibility for taking down the website of Malaysia Airlines in 2015, shortly after the disappearance of flight MH370. In addition to these attacks, Lizard Squad has targeted government websites, including the official website of the UK's National Crime Agency, which was taken down in 2014. They've also targeted the websites of U.S. law enforcement agencies, including the FBI and Secret Service. Lizard Squad's cyber attacks have had a significant impact on their targets, causing disruption in financial losses as well as reputational damage. For example, the DDoS attacks on gaming networks in 2014 left millions of gamers unable to access online services during the busy holiday season, resulting in loss of revenue for the companies and frustration for their customers. The attacks on media organizations, such as the BBC, have also caused significant disruption to their operations and raised concerns about the vulnerability of critical infrastructure. The attacks on government websites, such as the National Crime Agency in the UK, have highlighted the need for improved cybersecurity measures to protect against cyber threats from motivated and skilled attackers. In addition to the direct impact of their cyber attacks, Lizard Squad's activities have also raised concerns about the broader implications for cybersecurity and international relations. The group's activities have prompted calls for greater cooperation between governments and the private sector to address cyber threats, as well as concerns about the potential use of cyber attacks as a tool of statecraft or terrorism. Members of Lizard Squad have faced legal repercussions for their involvement in cyber attacks. In 2015, two British members of their group were arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit unauthorized access to computer material, and later pleaded guilty to the charges. In the United States, several members of the group have also been arrested and prosecuted for their involvement in cyber attacks. The legal consequences for cyber attacks can be significant and include fines, imprisonment, and damage to a person's reputation and future career prospects. In addition to criminal charges, victims of cyber attacks can also pursue civil legal action against their attackers to seek compensation for damages caused. The legal repercussions faced by members of Lizard Squad serve as a reminder of the serious nature of cybercrime and the potential consequences of engaging in illegal activities online. In addition to legal consequences, engaging in cybercrime can also have negative social and personal consequences, such as loss of respect from peers and family and the potential for retaliation from victims or law enforcement agencies. The motivations behind Lizard Squad's cyber attacks are not entirely clear, as the group has not provided a clear agenda or political ideology to justify their actions. 
Some speculate that the group is motivated by financial gain or political motives, while others suggest that they're simply seeking attention and notoriety. The group has claimed that their actions are a form of protest against government surveillance and the actions of law enforcement agencies. However, their attacks have also targeted gaming networks and media organizations, raising questions about the consistency of their motives and agendas. The lack of clear motives behind Lizard Squad's activities highlights the complexity of the motivations of cybercriminals and the need for a nuanced understanding of their behavior. In some cases, cybercriminals may be motivated by financial gain, seeking to exploit vulnerabilities in systems and networks to steal personal information or financial data. In other cases, they may be motivated by political or ideological beliefs, using cyber attacks as a form of protest or activism. Lizard Squad has played a significant role in the broader hacker community, both as a source of inspiration for other hackers and as a target of scrutiny from law enforcement agencies and cybersecurity experts. Their activities have raised important questions about the ethics and impact of hacking, as well as the need for effective cybersecurity measures to protect against cyber threats. The group has also been known to associate with other hacking groups and individuals, and their activities have sparked debates within the hacker community about the role of hacking in society and the potential consequences of engaging in illegal activities online. Lizard Squad's activities have also been closely monitored by law enforcement agencies and cybersecurity experts, who have sought to identify and prosecute members of the group. The group's activities have highlighted the need for effective law enforcement and international cooperation to address cyber threats and hold cyber criminals accountable for their actions. Lizard Squad has gained notoriety for their cyber attacks and is often compared to other infamous hacking groups. One group that is frequently compared to Lizard Squad is Anonymous, a loosely organized collective of hackers that has been involved in a range of cyber activities, including DDoS attacks and data breaches. While Lizard Squad and Anonymous share some similarities, such as their use of DDoS attacks and their commitment to anonymity, there are also some key differences between the two groups. For example, Anonymous has been associated with political activism and has used cyber attacks as a form of protest against government and corporate entities, while Lizard Squad's motivations are less clear. Another group that is often compared to Lizard Squad is the Syrian Electronic Army, a group of hackers that has been involved in cyber attacks targeting media organizations and government agencies. Like Lizard Squad, the Syrian Electronic Army has used social engineering tactics and DDoS attacks to gain access to sensitive information and disrupt the operations of their targets. Protecting against attacks from groups like Lizard Squad requires a multifaceted approach that addresses both technical vulnerabilities and human factors. Technical measures may include implementing firewalls and intrusion detection systems, regularly updating software and security patches, and ensuring that employees use strong passwords and are trained to recognize and to respond to potential cyber threats. In addition to technical measures, organizations can also implement policies and procedures that reduce the likelihood of successful cyber attacks. For example, organizations may implement policies that limit employee access to sensitive information or require regular security awareness training for employees. The future of Lizard Squad and their potential impact on cybersecurity remains uncertain. While the group has not been as active in recent years, their past activities and notoriety suggest that they may continue to pose a threat to online security. The group's tactics, including their use of DDoS attacks and social engineering tactics, highlight the need for continued vigilance and preparedness in the face of cyber attacks. As technology continues to evolve and new vulnerabilities are identified, it is important for organizations and individuals to remain up to date with the latest security measures and best practices.